This is the Multimedia Impact Weather Briefing for Central Alabama. Today is Tuesday, April 29th, 2014. I'm National Weather Service Meteorologist Aaron Gleason. This briefing will provide detailed information concerning another round of severe thunderstorms expected to develop across our area this afternoon and tonight. Before we begin, I know folks across Central Alabama are tired from the severe weather yesterday and early this morning. We are too. For some who were directly hit, their lives will never be the same, and our thoughts and prayers are with those people today. The main driver for our severe weather continues to be a big, slow-moving, upper-level storm system to our northwest that is moving slowly eastward. I didn't include the severe weather outlook for today, which is issued by the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, because it will be updated several times through the day and would become quickly outdated. The development of additional storms this afternoon and tonight is looking more likely due to the exit of the first round of widespread severe weather early this morning. We are forecasting temperatures to warm back up into the 80s this afternoon, which would destabilize the atmosphere again as a cold front approaches the state from the west. If this additional round of storms develops this afternoon, it will bring with it a risk for tornadoes, damaging winds, large hail, and flash flooding excuse me, through at least midnight and all of central Alabama would be at risk again. The western third of central Alabama should warm up faster than elsewhere since the first round of storms moved through that area earlier. Severe thunderstorms could develop as early as 2 to 3 p.m. across west central Alabama. After that, severe thunderstorms will be possible area-wide. Here are the severe weather relative threat levels for this afternoon and tonight. We think there's a decent shot at seeing damaging winds, large hail, and flash flooding. And if these storms develop like we expect they will, the greatest threat will again be tornadoes. So what can you do to prepare for this next round of severe weather? Well, hopefully you're already prepared because of the severe weather yesterday and early this morning. The best advice I can give folks living here in central Alabama is to have a severe weather safety plan. Think about all the different places you will be today know where you can take shelter if threatening weather approaches your location, and have multiple ways to receive weather warnings. Also, based off the damage reports we've received so far this morning, it looks like quite a few communities across central Alabama were impacted by severe weather, including tornadoes, yesterday and early this morning. I would ask uh, that please help those folks today if you can by providing whatever assistance you are able. This is one of those days that I really hope we bust our forecast badly and that nothing happens. But pretty much everything we're looking at this morning says we're going to get another round of severe weather beginning this afternoon. So, to stay up to date, you can always get the latest forecasts and updates right off our main webpage, which is weather.gov forward slash bmx. We will do our best to post frequent updates to our Facebook page and Twitter feed this afternoon and tonight, so be sure to like us and or follow us. And if you have any additional questions, you can call us here at the office at 205-664-3010. Thanks for watching.